Okay, let's move on now to Jimmy G. Um, what's at stake for him this Sunday? Uh, is is this a is this a career defining game? Is oh is this a defining moment for him? Leo, you start. I don't think it, his career is at stake just because my theory is they're going to run the hell out of mm. the ball. So how right? Um, but it is his future is at at the tipping point for the 49ers because it's you can't do that against a Dolphins team, a Cardinals team, and then, you know, S the bed against the Rams. Again, it he's out of excuses, especially after what happened to the Super Bowl. It, it's at the point to where he's a liability in the pocket. He seems to have jittery feet in the pocket. Um, he's not using his legs to throw the ball at all, so that's why you see a lot of balls just completely inaccurate. Um, there's questions when it comes to Jimmy Garoppolo's future with this team and that contract extension that can make things lighter for the cap next year. It it's in question right now. Mm. Uh, not his career is not his NFL career, but his 49ers career is definitely going to be a toss up. If he goes out and even sniffs the performance he did against the Cardinals or especially the dolphins, because this is, there's so many multiple reasons you can get into number one, the season's on the line for the playoff race. Number two, it's a divisional game. Number three, you know, the Rams are going to come and bring it because you're the one that put the tombstone pile driver on the Rams in week 16. And guess what? It's week six. It's already week six. And the Rams can do the same thing to you, and they have all the momentum in the world. You don't. You're coming off the worst game in the Kyle Shanahan era. Jimmy Garoppolo's coming off arguably his worst game of all time. So now you have such a huge turnaround. Aaron Donald's in front of you. Uh, you know, this is going to be a defining moment. How are you going to respond? And, you know, Leo, me and you got, on, got into it already. Garoppolo probably shouldn't have been benched in that second half because he's an in-rhythm passer. And now you're going to want him just all of a sudden just light it up out of nowhere against a Good ass defensive front like Aaron Donald and all those people. Oh my, it, I don't. I have no faith that he's going to be able to step up in this situation uh, because uh, offensive line. You know, he just didn't have no confidence at all, and he's just and all it takes is for one hit for him to get that little shaky feet. That's it. So, it, but if he balls out, if he balls out, then all of a sudden we're going to stave off that it for temporarily and see how he comes back. But if he does, if he does have anywhere, if they lose, and he's a part of the reason why. Shanahan, I mean, the fact that Shanahan said, hey, I have no issue pulling him again, you already know his patience thin. So, Jimmy, this is a defining moment for your 49ers career. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a defining moment for, for Garoppolo, definitely. He's got to come out and have a, a good game this week uh, if he's going to you know, be expected to be the leader. You know, last year when they first played the Rams down in L.A., I thought he played really well. He was getting hit, or, you know, knocked around. It was a really rough first half. And, and he was able to make some throws. It's going to be interesting this week, really, to see how they perform. That you know that offensive line is so bad; it's, it's really throws a, a monkey wrench into their whole their whole mm. game. It you really know, does. They, they fit the they fit the quarterback fifty times already in, through five games this year, and uh, it, it's they it goes far deeper than the quarterback, even though that's still going to be the scapegoat. Wait, Jack, yeah. have you been watching all 60 minutes of Mike McGlinchey's games? He's actually been playing better than what you're giving him credit for. Well, that's the problem. I have watched it. And that's <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what I got to say about Jimmy G. Um, if he has another stinker, it's very concerning, and it's starting to look like he's on the way out in San Francisco. If he plays well, if he beats the Rams and plays well on, on national television, he's kind of like absolved of his sins of the last, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, it's he can really erase all of that narrative with just one good game. But I want to put things in perspective with Garoppolo. Like, are we really expecting him to have a really good game? And, I want, and I'll ask it this way. When was the last time he had a good game? To me, he week played 17. great. Yes. He played great week 16 and week 17. I mean, week 16, he made two huge big-time throws under pressure to beat the Rams in the fourth quarter. Like third and a million. Twice. That was amazing. And then the next the week same he drive. Went, Yeah. And, and then the next week he went to Seattle – and one in Seattle, which is never easy. I mean, those were two games that he should be building confidence from. Then he goes in the playoffs and has a shaky game against the Vikings. And then the next game, I would say that Kyle Shanahan humiliated him by calling only eight passes. Had he called 16? Nothing humiliating about that. That's a Ryan Tannehill game. But eight? That was tough. And so he had to spend the entire week before the Super Bowl saying, answering the question, do you think Kyle Shanahan trusts you? Uh, and the questions about Tom Brady, and that stunk. And then he crumbled in the Super Bowl. He crumbled week one. He got hurt week two. He crumbled week five. 
So I'd like to see him have one good game. And I think a lot of it is mental and not about his knee or his ankle, but it's about the NFC championship game. That was a huge game. And he was really, um, what's the word? Shanahan humiliated him. I don't think you get over that eight passes. So that's the way I see it. Um, I'd like to see him get some confidence play the way he played the last time he played the Rams. If he plays like that, then the Niners have a quarterback. Next question. Yeah, I like... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I like Garoppolo. I, I like Garoppolo, and I'd like to see him start playing like that 2017 Garoppolo all over again. Um, but if not, if they don't make the playoffs or if they don't finish above 500, it, it's in jeopardy because you look at any other team... If they have an offensive personnel like the 49ers currently have, I'm not talking. I'm not going to get into the offensive line, but his weapons as far as receiving and rushing. Mm-hmm. What top 15 quarterback does not make the playoffs and at least drive their team to 30 points a game? They're struggling just to get to 24 right now. 